Hello my fashion lovers, the most anticipated Nigerian wedding is around the corner and we've been witnessing unending festivities from fancy pre-wedding dinner to a really grand bridal shower to celebrate the bride-to-be and more recently they shared photos from their pre-wedding shoot which has caused a little bit of controversy on the internet. While fans of the couple have loved and appreciated the shoot, some public figures have had quite a few things to say about the shoot. In today's video, let's dive into this looks and review the entire shoot. Before we proceed, as usual, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumb up and also turn on your notifications to get notified whenever I drop related content and be sure to check my page for more celebrities and fashion content so in case you're living on that rock and you're probably not aware famous Nigerian singer Davido and his wife are traditionally getting married so I believe they've been legally married for about a year but they are finally tying the knot traditionally in a very grand style which is set to hold on the 25th of this month at the luxurious Eco Hotel with only the cream de la cream of society in attendance anyways let's get into the pre-wedding looks and firstly we have the couple in Asho Oki so they are both wearing custom outfits. I believe the groom's look is by an imagined Nigerian designer called Lucky NMO. I'm quite sure I'm not pronouncing that name correctly, but let's talk about the look. So it's a multi-colored agbada made of hand-woven fabric called Ashoke, with yellow embroideries plattered in front to add more spice to the look. For accessories, they opted for a stack of royal beads, a luxurious wristwatch, and the stuff, alongside a pair of simple brown leather shoes, and crowned the entire look with a cap made of the exact same fabric as the agbada. While for the bride, she has on this beautiful black mermaid dress with sparkly multicolored decorative lines alongside black mesh and feathers to spice up the look, a black head tie and a piece of ashoke wrapped around her waist. I love the added ashoke, I feel that complements the groom's look and unites both looks. They both look incredibly good. I feel with this look in particular, the groom kind of steals the attention. The agbada looks really bold and extra while the dress looks a little bit simple. Anyways, I feel Choma is a really simple lady and this outfit clearly suits her personal style. Next we have the couple in this gorgeous gold outfit. Speaking of Choma being simple, she clearly wasn't keeping it simple with this look. She has on this spectacular ensemble with a gold sequin corset by Jennifer Rowland official with a beautiful floor length dress embellished with stones, crystals and sequins. And for accessories, she went for a dainty neck piece and a pair of earrings alongside a neutral makeup and crowned the entire look with this beautiful brown head piece. I love that they went for minimal accessories and glam. The dress is really glamorous and quite extravagant and doesn't need so much accessories. The stylist clearly did a fantastic job. Then we have Davido in this gorgeous golden ensemble by Ugo Monye. It's a unique agbada piece with a quite intricate structure and it's made of beautiful gold satin fabric. He paired the agbada with a matching loose pants and an embroidered cap. And for accessories, he went for red royal beads, a black staff and embellished shoes. I love this look as well. I believe they were both styled by YLN and I believe the hostel Choma is carrying represents the Igbo culture. So I feel the first look was inspired by the Yoruba culture while this was inspired by the Igbo culture. It's a very modern take on Igbo tradition look but they look really really good regardless next we have the couple in a more formal attire <laughs> So firstly we have Choma in this gorgeous black dress by Extra Bright Lagos. It's an exquisite dress adorned with stones and crystals alongside feathers on the sleeves. And for glam she went for soft makeup and bridal hair and accessorized the look with chandelier earrings and French tip nails. While the video was styled in this really unique three piece set. It's a black shirt adorned with stones paired with a black pant and overlaid with this agbada stuff. For accessories we went for a black cap and a pair of embellished black leather shoes. I love this look. It's very clean, classy and modern. I love the entire concept of the shoot as well as execution. This is a perfect blend of simplicity and opulence and I feel it's a very classy and clean shot. I honestly can't decide which of these looks is my favorite but I think I would have to go with this one. I feel with the other shoots the bride was either outshining the groom or the groom outshining the bride but this shoot is clearly giving perfect balance and has to be my favorite. Anyways these are your pre-wedding shoots. Be sure to let me know which of these looks is your favorite in the comment section and let's also talk about this beautiful hot pink two-piece set. So this was an outfit for a really grand bridal shower. For accessories she went for a stack of Van Cleef bracelets, the Louis Vuitton bag and large hoop earrings. And I believe the dress code was pink because majority of our guests were also spotted wearing pink. And it was of course the special performance by famous Nigerian artist in Nya Nya. No matter the years, I will last in your way. They know me, Lord. They go put to this for me. 
it was clearly a beautiful event and i'll be sure to update you guys on the wedding as well be sure to stay tuned to my page to get a full fashion review if you are yet to subscribe be sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumb up and also turn your notifications on to get notified whenever i drop related content and be sure to check my page for more celebrities and fashion content shout out to all my returning subscribers by the way you all are the absolute best if you've stuck with me to this point thank you for sticking to the very end and be sure to drop a comment on what sort of videos you'd like to see next bye for now and see you all in my next video and do not forget to join the growing family by subscribing